Hey, hi everyone. Hope you are doing good. So recently I was exploring Podman and trying to set up it with Next.js. So in this process, I ran into an issue related to HMR. So I thought let's explore and understand it in a better way. So uh, like we will explore what it is and uh, what it stands for, like how it actually improves our developer experience. We will explore these things and we will also see a basic implementation of how HMR is implemented, how actually it works behind the scenes to improve the developer experience like that. So yeah let's get started now hmr stands for hot module replacement so it is a powerful feature that allows developers to update modules in the browser without requiring a full page refresh now this significantly speeds up the development process by providing instantaneous feedback on code changes now understanding how hmr works under the hood can help developers leverage its capabilities effectively now let's first understand the basic process flow. Now Next.js utilizes Webpack, a popular module bundler. Like for bundling JavaScript files and other assets, Webpack plays a crucial role in enabling HMR by providing the necessary infrastructure for monitoring changes in modules and applying updates in real time. Next comes WebSocket. So now how actually communication takes place between client and server? So it is actually with respect to WebSocket. So HMR relies on a WebSocket communication between the client and the server. When a file changes, the development server emits a signal to connected clients via WebSocket, indicating that a new version of the module is available. Now third is the update strategy. Upon receiving the signal from the server, the client determines which modules have been updated and applies the changes accordingly. Now Next.js employs a smart update strategy to ensure that only the affected modules are replaced rather than refreshing the entire page. Now here next comes fast refresh. Now what it is? So Next.js enhances the HMR experience with a feature called fast refresh. So fast refresh preserves the component state during updates. Now it allows developers to see the changes instantly without losing the current application state. This is particularly useful for React application built with Next.js. Though sometimes we fall into an issue where HMR in Next.js doesn't works at all. So this is that issue that I was referring in a start of video. So this issue exists specifically, I guess, say with respect to Docker setup, like you have to stop the container and you have to start it over again in order Order to load all your fresh changes this process is lengthy and it's time consuming and it like doesn't goes well with respect to developing new feature it's it's just irritating you know so how we can solve that problem so here is the uh, fix of that uh, issue that i was talking about so uh, from line number 12 to line number 18 it is that fix that will help you resolve that issue that i was talking about so in this middleware configuration what happens is we just configure the watch options here firstly we introduce poll it checks for changes every second so that particular value is configurable as per your need and second comes here the aggregator timeout it is that delay before rebuilding say suppose from 0 to 1000 ms it will wait for you uh, like to make any kind of changes so once all that changes are done it will pick all the changes at once and it will build together next comes customization developers can customize the behavior of hmr to suit the specific requirements next year's provides hooks and apis that enable fine-grained control over module reloading and update handling this flexibility allows developers to tailor the hmr experience to their workflow preferences now come on let's take a look into a typical hmr workflow okay so let's move to the code editor again so here are we now let's understand what things are there which like actually helps us implementing a hmr feature for our application so here uh, firstly i will tell that app.use so this is an basic express.js method used to mount middleware functions on the specified paths. Okay, so these functions can perform tasks, modify request and response objects, end the request response cycle, or let's say call the next middleware function in the stack. Okay, so now let's move to line number 13 and line number 14. Okay, so what it is. 
So for dev middleware, uh, I've passed a compiler. This is the middleware that is uh, provided by Webpack. Okay, often used in development environments, it serves the bundle output of Webpack, handling requests for static assets like JavaScript files, CSS images, HTML files, and so on. Compiler here refers to the instance of the Webpack compiler, which is uh, say in JavaScript we refer to this uh, this instance, right? So here uh, that instance is passed with respect to compiler which is responsible for compiling and bundling your applications assets okay now next comes hot middleware this is a another middleware provided only by webpack but it is used in conjunction with webpack dev middleware for enabling hot module replacement hmr that we are talking uh, throughout okay so hmr allows you to update modules in your applications without requiring a full page reload okay making the development process faster and more efficient like you don't have to reload again and again or follow that typical process of uh, starting and shopping that container it like provides that functionality to you okay so that configuration helps you to achieve that so compiler here refers to webpack compiler instance only this helps us enable HMR globally and this is the specific uh, public path and uh, we have set a entry point here in our index.js and for configuring our HMR on client which can like interact from client to server and from server to client like for that uh, interaction we have added HMR uh, client to connect to the server as well. So now here we have this function okay so with respect to this uh, we are enabling hmr uh, for our react components such, such that if any changes we are doing so it gets re-rendered now what module dot hot is doing this condition here checks if the current module supports hot module replacement or not okay so when webpack hmr feature is enabled it injects a module dot hot object into the module scope to facilitate like hot module replacement hmr okay now module dot hot dot accept so it has some util functions within it like decline accept uh, i have uh, left over one console log will move to the browser and then we'll take a look on that as well but before that i will explain you what dot accept is okay module dot hot is available suppose that condition passed okay so this method is called to indicate that the module should accept updates when a module changes webpack will up attempt to replace it in the running application without requiring a full page reload okay so here module dot hot dot accept is typically called without arguments indicating that the module accepts updates for any dependencies it imports let's move to browser and take a look what uh, util functions are available in module dot hot now we are in a browser so here this all are the util functions uh, that you can explore over so now here when i try to make any update say suppose here we uh, write update and when we'll move back to browser here that change is visible to us here next comes performance so while hmr offers significant productivity benefits during development it's essential to consider its performance excessive usage of hmr especially with large code base can impact build times and overall development experience okay developers should strike a balance between leveraging hmr for rapid iterations and optimizing build performance okay so that's all for hmr that i have to share with you but wait i also have a great thing for you I have written a blog on understanding memory leaks in Angular, a concise guide. So in case you would like to take a look, the link is in description. And thanks for listening. Uh, chalo milta hai fir. Bye bye.